So you put the, what, what is that, form of 30? Yeah, above the door, yeah. So that. No, that's the short one, isn't it? Short, short one, yeah, it's number 31, sorry. It's yeah. The short one there. And what's the far one then, 29? No, the one f further back, that's, that's 30. 33, oh. then 32, 31. That's right, so, I'm going the wrong way, yeah, aren't yeah. I? Yeah. So 32 is what I'm doing at the minute, which is the door yeah. frame. So, um, that, that's, once we've got that in place, um, that's as far as we can go to reshape this end bit. Yeah. But in the meantime, I'm going to make a metal come in now. I've got two skins to make there, and then one skin to make the top. Okay. So, plenty to go on with. I see, and you've got, though, up there, you've got the... T the two formers joined together. Yeah, yeah. Just give it a bit more rigidity. Uh, yeah. 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 And then I've, I've got to make a new skin for the top and just lay it on the top and drill it all off and then that'll, and these two down the bottom, that'll finish that side. Yeah. yeah. Stage fitting form of 32 part of the door frame. I hope that that's fitted to one and a half thousand tolerance like Phil likes. <laughs> yeah, Phil will be having me up if it's not. Yeah. Yes, because that form is the other way round, the way they yeah. bent the thing, isn't it? John has fitted a large amount of rivets in and around the rear turret. A few more to do, but having this week off. Dennis has removed all the skin from the underside of the port side trailing edge. This part of the video covers how the aileron is controlled at the wing section. The aileron control rod runs through the trailing edge rib at the bottom of this shot. Then travels upwards in a circular arc movement to this point where the yoke is fitted. The yoke is fitted to the fulcrum, which is on the inboard end of the aileron main spar. So this is the fulcrum, and these are tapped holes? Yeah, these are tapped holes. Um, this is a Canadian one that has screws in. The British one have, have got tapped holes, and you stick rivets in it. Yeah. yeah. So these are the, the plug rivets? Yeah, plug so rivets. The only way you can tell the difference between a Canadian built and a British built is the screws or that, rivets. That's the only part of the aileron yeah, what's different. Yeah, otherwise they're uh, absolutely gone. And then the, you've got a shaft coming in at this end. No, no. But there's a little shaft comes up there with a that goes into a bearing on, on the on the end wing rib. Yeah. Rib 14. And you've got the gimbal. And these these holes here are the pin holes for holding in the yeah, shaft. For a tapey pin, that holds tapey that pin, in. Yeah. You have that. Um, da -da -da. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Goes that way round. Yeah. So that can swivel up that way. And that bit. Oh, and that goes on there, I see. Yeah, that yeah. goes on there. You got the aileron rod that comes along the wing goes on the lever here, moves that up and down, like that. And that gives which, the movement. Which moves that. Yeah. That's allowed to move like that so you don't get a mechanical lock. Yeah. So the whole thing sort of does that sort of arrangement. And so, yeah, it's good. Up and down. 
Yeah. Oh, good. Thanks very much, John. Explaining okay. that. Ciao. In 2019, John and Les built an airworthy portside aileron, which is in a bonded store, ready to be fitted to the Lancaster at the latest stages of final assembly. About five years' time, fingers crossed. Restoration video 26 to 30 covers the latest stage of the construction of the port side aileron. Yeah. Just arrived at East Kirby, removing the port side wing tip. On its first fit, they found the holes were tight on the studs. It's lunch break, they will try later. This is the section Phil was working on over the last few weeks. Phil, who was chief engineer at RF Lightning Project in the USA, is in the USA at the moment, catching up and getting the project up and running again after a two year break due to COVID restrictions. I will post a link to Phil's YouTube channel in the comment section below. Well, they firm it up, don't they? And then when I've got one in as well. Yeah. Really, Yeah, I hear uh, you were um, rescued out of the um, middle of the turret, was it? Or was, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was. I was <laughs> you were the dummy. Especially selected, yeah. Trying well, to get, get in there pretty easily, probably. Yeah, that was the moon made his day, too. Yeah. And Bob got his spraying done all right, did he, in the booth? He did, yeah. Fairly happy with them. Hey, you better not mark it if Phil finds you marked it. Thing, if you've scratched it, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> I'll say that's a big move forward with the doorway. Yeah. Oh. Tips were, the holes in the wing tips were drilled to size but not to the finished size so they opened the holes out by a few thou and this did the job. There's about 60 to 70 holes where the studs fit.
wobbly, that sounds nice. Go good, has it? Yeah. Have you got to take it off to do some drilling? I'm going to, I'm going to drill these down here, bring all that tight, make sure it sits all nice and then all, all the way up here, and then pick some new holes in the top of it. Yeah. And then, um, work out where this could do cut outs for these step yeah. sections, so I'll we'll work out where they go. But, Get all this drilled off while it's in. Anything happen over there? Yeah, yeah, we got it fitting. Have they? Well, they've got it on and they're putting the bolts on, nuts oh. and bolts on. Oh. Or nuts on. They opened all the holes out by a few thousand. Have they? Yeah. Uh, Bob had found the drawing of what size they should be. Yeah. And that's what they've opened them out to. They'd only put them in um, with a smaller hole to start with, yeah. and they just wanted opening out, uh, and it fitted on well. Lovely. Right, I'm going to disappear now. I've got quite a bit today, which is different. Yeah, got, at least you got that anyway. Yeah, got yeah. that. They've got the doorway yeah. frame going in. I've taken a bit of the riveting at the bottom round the turret. That's nearly complete. Yeah. Well, Mum, I'll be back next week. Oh. <laughs> have a good chat with you. Hey, yeah, he'll have a look at that and uh, <laughs> check it out. You better not find any fault. Yeah. I reckon he wanted the door open in the other side. The finished article for 2022 taxi runs. Both wingtips fitted, engine test complete. The first taxi run, Tuesday the 26th of April 2022 at 11.30 and the second run at 1.30. But please check the times and dates on the centre's web page.